up ahead of us, we have buoy number two. This is a channel marker. It actually marks the depth of the channel. Today we're very fortunate. We've got our good friends here, the California Sea Lions hanging out. These guys go out at night. They feed on anchovies, mackerel, turkeys, or sweets. And if they had a good night, well, they rest here during the day on the food. Well, evidently these guys must have had a good night because they've been resting here all day long. Oh, yeah, right there. The difference between a sea lion and a seal is that sea lions have little tiny external ears. Seal food are. And sea lions can actually use the bags to move around on land. And seals have to drag their backs over. This? That great big one you see there is named Sammy. Say hi to Sammy, guys. Thank you. Yeah, that's the one. Hey, Sammy. How you doing, Sammy? Hi, Sammy. <laughs> Sleeping. You're sleeping? Don't wake me up. Hala, hala. Para nakikinig siya. Ay, nga sila din sa boya. Hi, Sammy. Oh, she's sleeping. Hi, cutie, cutie. Okay, say goodbye to Sammy. Come on, Sammy, yeah. smile for the pictures. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Hi, Sammy. All right, Sammy, see you next trip. <laughs> there he is. What a beautiful afternoon. Boy, sure nice and cool breeze out here. Remember, folks, you're on a boat, so hold on to the handrails, hold on tight. Oh, it's beautiful out here. Here we go. Off to the right, you'll see this large cargo terminal. It's operated by the Costco Company. Wow. Costco stands for China Overseas Shipping Company. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Once the containers are offloaded off the ship, they're then placed on trucks or trains, and then shipped throughout the United States, Mexico, and Canada. Yeah, nice. Dito kumukita ang ili. Okay. 
Kelly kan sana non barang California kaya nang mag ano eh yang barang country Ada pilih batu ori LA County Ada hai nggak ini kan Barang city we the city barang dan mo yung world bank ini para sa dito Oh oh gitu Parang LA County nga tawag nila, di ba? Party po. Party po. Pero ang dami na din malalaki na ito yan. Ang malalaki po. Ang maraming malalaki pang panila na ano na, umalis na rito kasi mataas kayo yung tax. Oo. Kulang-kulang ano. Oo. 9.6. Ang Hawaii, 4% lang eh. Oregon, walang tax. Walang sales tax. Ito is just a small part of the port. If you look, this one is of my Costco. Yeah, only yeah. China, Canada, Guano, Tinga, and Costco. This was the last section of breakwater that was completed in the city's section around 1945. And the reason they built this section of breakwater was to protect us here in the Long Beach Harbor from the large ocean swells and to load some of the naval ships and some of the ammunition from the Seal Beach Naval Station. Ya, agar ada para kang nak duyan. Ini bawa bumbak nak duyan, alat apa ni lah. There's a large oil tanker up ahead of us. That is a large crude oil tanker. Up ahead of us and off to the right, a ship carries cargo like crude oil, gasoline, or diesel fuel. When that ship is fully loaded, she'll be down beneath the surface of the water, just about 60 feet. Oh. Rabi, no? So you can imagine how high the bottom of the boat is. Uh-oh, gasoline. Hindi tatalon si kuya. Bahala ka. Bibili nila tayo sa Pespay, Marfa. Bahala ka sa buhay mo. Yan ang breakwater. Tapos nila. Hindi mo ako 
Four islands inside of this harbor. If you look way off to the right, you'll see Oil Island Chaffee way to the right. Up ahead of us, we have Oil Island Freeman. And up ahead of us even further is Oil Island White. There's one more we'll see on the way in. These islands are actually built to drill and produce oil from right underneath us here in the city of Long Beach. He discovered a tremendous amount of oil in the early 1900s. So together with the city and the port, they formed a company and they called this company Thumbs. But these islands still actively today drill and produce oil from right underneath us here wow. in the Long Beach Harbor. Uh -huh. Kami kami kasi ang lights. Ang ganda. Kailan na? Isama niyo ako ni, oh. ano ko, pag lunis, pwede ako ko yan. Oh, when lunis martes? Actually, wala akong trabaho lunis. Oh, lunis martes. Kaya nga kung lunis mo hindi ako naka ng tarpanan ko. Kaya medyo ako ko. Kaya sabay tayo niya. Sabi nga ng Mike sir, binagsabi sa akin, ang pangit naman ng ano, parang mga bundok. Kung hindi mo kasi nakita lahat, may pangit dito, may ano talaga. Pero dito yung lugar na talagang mga kasyala, hindi nila nakikita. Kita ka naman mga bundok, maling pero bundok na lahat. Oo. Kita ka na sa Francisco, dadaan mga halos yung mga kids, mga bundok-bundok. Oo, oo, oo. Pero pag dumangkaroon sa mga bulutasan, out, kung ganda nang nag-aan yan na yung harvest time, Ano strawberry, tsaka yung mga orange, grape, pwede nga mag-taking grape ka. Nagpunta kami nung isa nga lang sa rato, ito sa may wine na rapos. Grape yung tanim nila, hindi ako na kinuha yung wine na nagkuha nila. Winery? O, winery sa Solbang. Ah, ah, ah. Pero kayo nag-open na lahat eh. Oo, sa rato mo, kasi ala ng oras, 4 o'clock din sa rato na eh. Ayun, mag-task for na kami nata, at hindi namin alam ko sa rato na. Pagkagaling namin ng Solbang, pagkakaroon ka nila. Kaya may parola eh, diba? Oo. Ito ang sarap po. Good look at uh, here's a look at the island Freeman off to the right. You can see how they added a lot of shrubbery and palm trees and a little cover for the oil drilling rig. This island still actively drills and produces oil from right underneath us here in the Long Beach Harbor.
Take a look to the right. See this long, wide stretch of beach? This is how Long Beach got its name. Back in the early 1900s, Long Beach was known as Wilmore City. After the developer, William Wilmore. About 1925, the city decided to change the name, so they changed the name to Long Beach. After the long, wide stretch of beach, you see it in the right. Thereafter, the city was struck by a major earthquake in 1933. That was the largest most of the tall downtown buildings. Most of the buildings were brick buildings, were not reinforced with masonry, and they were demolished. So since then, the city has been rebuilt, and you can see one of the, the tallest buildings there in Long Beach. Right beneath it, there's another smaller building with a steeple. Green roof. That's called the Colonial Riviera. That is one of the few buildings that did survive the 1933 earthquake. Ah! It was built because it survived. It was built on a roller. It actually rolled. Yeah. 